Well, today I'm excited. I'm going to do a collaboration with Julie Vatcher from Oak Tree Studios. Um, we're both going to be doing um, a landscape pour. So um, we agreed upon we're going to have a sunset, we're going to have some mountains, and we're going to have some kind of greenery with flowers. Other than that, we can use whatever colors we want. Um, oh, we are going to do flip cups for each section. And other than that, uh, the colors we use, is, are, we use are up to us. Um, in the description below, I'll have her link for her great website that she did herself and just put out, and her YouTube channel. So stay tuned. I'm going to get started right now. All right, I'm ready to put my colors in the cup. I did put a little tiny bit of the spray silicone on a napkin and I rubbed it around on all three of the cups so most of the paint will come out. Other than that, there's no silicone. Um, my pouring medium is Floetrol. Probably, I would say, 85% Floetrol, 15% GAC 800. And then if I needed to add water, I did to get it to a where it forms a mound consistency. So let's get going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the cup. Um, when, I, when I flip it, I want the lighter colors to be towards the bottom and the darker colors to be towards the top. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try to layer it in the cup like that. So I'm going to start here. This is a darker color. I don't know how many layers I'm going to do. And this is a lighter color. I'm doing on this side. The brands I've used of paint, I mean, you're talking there's artist loft, there's folk art, there's deco art, there's um, basics, there's creative inspirations, there's extreme glitter, extreme sheen, sheen glitter. There's all kinds of different brands of paints in this. So we will see what happens. And then I'm going to inject when, when I have it down on the canvas. And the injection recipe I'm using is, what is it, two parts, I have it written down here. One part milk paint, one part semi-gloss house paint, two parts Floetrol, and a half a part of GAC 800. So that's my recipe for the injection. And then I ended up putting a little bit of this dark color in and I made like a gray. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please push the subscribe button and the notification bell that's one way you can support me. That way, if, when I do a video, you'll be notified. Um, I did open my Etsy shop recently. Not all paintings are in there, but so if you see a painting that you're interested in, please give me an email. And go ahead and get, give me a comment, too. Comments help me. Um, go ahead and tell me where you're from, where you're watching this video from. I'd be curious to know. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to keep the cup like that, put it to the side. The mountains, the mountain colors. I got metallics here. Know why we're getting so complicated with the curve collab. Hey Julie, why did we end up getting so complicated? We couldn't have done just an easy an easy one? <laughs> That's funny. Nope, we gotta get super complicated. 
So I have no idea how different they're both going to be. I mean, we still got to do flowers after this, and I don't know what kind of flowers she's doing um, or what colors. And I've really never done, you know, landscape with flowers before. So, you know, we'll see. We will see. Okay, I don't know if my camera stopped working, but I went ahead and poured my five different green colors. I layered them, sort of like I did the other cups. Um, sorry if that didn't, my camera just went wild there. Anyway, so I'll be right back. I'm going to be getting my canvas, getting that set up, and pondering if I want to put some copper in the mountains or not. Um, what do you think? Should I? Okay, I think I'm going to add some copper to my mountains up from up high. That's all. Just a little bit. Please, I hope I don't regret that. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I was going to show you vertically the way it's going to be, um, but it's you could see it much easier if I have the canvas horizontal. And then I'll go ahead and do it like this, and then I might have to turn it and look at it to get a better perspective, but here goes. So I have the cup turned where the lighter part is on the edge. So I guess for this first cup, I'm going to go ahead and do this. The other ones... Okay, so... I haven't done a flip cup in ages, it seems. I hope I don't lose it all. Okay, so I'm going to bring it down, and then I'm going to tilt it. I'm scared. It's scary, isn't it? All right, let's go. One, two, three. I sure don't want to lose any of that, so I'm going to go ahead and take the purple up here. This is gallery wrap, so I have a lot of sides to co cover. And before I tilt it, we have to inject. So I need to do that for some puffy clouds. Let me go ahead and eat bubbles. Well, I like how it looks so far. All right, I'm back. So let's inject. Know how much I want to do. I don't want. Let's see how much is coming out. Okay. Let's see if it comes through. Go ahead and start tilting. Well, I'm going to fire it up first. Put a lot of big bubbles. I hope I didn't ruin it with the milk paint. I see it start coming up. I guess that worked. The dark is at the top. That's right where I wanted it. There's a little bit down here. I'll go ahead and get this corner next. I don't think I'm going to like what's happening with the milk paint. This doesn't have to be straight because the mountains are going to come in right here. Okay, I'm back. Um, the milk paint's starting to come through. Uh, it probably won't know the final result for who knows how long. So I will bring you back after I finish this to see if it's changed. And I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten more cells with the extreme sheen. 
in here. Um, but I, I still like it. I mean, who knows? These might end up being really cool. But we won't know for a while. All right. So let's... I'm going to do the dark part. This is going to have to be a quick flip cup. Like that. So I'm going to run it along the edge here. Um, I hope I don't have too much paint. I was worried about not having enough, and now I'm like, oh, I hope I didn't put too much. So if that's the case, I will be tilting a lot of it off. And this will get disturbed too. So this will be fun. Okay, I'm going to move it this way a little bit. Oh, well that didn't work too well. That's okay. I really wish I would have had, you know, this is going to be more like rolling hills and not a mountain. But if I wanted to mess with it, I could, you know, do something like that with a barbecue skewer. So we'll see. Come back this way. I love how it's dark and then the light on the sunset where it looks like you know, the sun's set, and so it's going to be lighter at the top of the mountains. Oh, I like what it's doing up here. It looks like we have distant mountains. I like it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and touch up the sides and I'll be right back with the pasture or the rolling green hills. Be right back. Alright, I'm going to fix up the sides and then I'm going to decide if I'm going to put a river somewhere. So I'll be right back. Okay, there it is. What I think I'm going to do to get these mountains, I don't know if you can see it that well. That's the whole thing, but I was going to show you the mountains. I'm upside down, but there's a, there's a line across here. I want to see if I can get that a little more. rolling hills. So I like how that turned out. So I'm going to let this dry. The clouds are still forming up here. Probably should have put a darker gray. But you always wish you did something else. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for a while before I put some flowers down here and give it some color. Hey everyone, I'm back. So I need to put some color in here. Um, this is just too blah. So I decided I'm going to be putting a tree with cherry blossoms here, some poppies here, and some wildflowers in the distance here. So because of the way I'm doing it, I had this has been a couple days later, I had to let this dry because I needed it dry to do what I'm going to do. And then I also sort of need it to dry in between putting the branches down and the different types of wildflowers in the distance that I'm going to be doing. So, um, and I'm going to put a little bit of grass down here. Um, hey, who knows how this is going to turn out. It's uh, pretty technical. I don't know why, but... I don't know. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, could be a mess. It could be okay. So I am going to use a stick 
for the tree. I'm going to come out about right here. And this is going to take a while, so I'll probably speed this up because, I mean, I could use a brush, but this is pouring. <laughs> see this but I'm going to go ahead and take this tree off the side here all the way down so um, I'll be right back okay it's off the side now you can see that. there you go um, I'm going to go ahead and put some grass down here so I'm just going to lay some little darker green maybe I'll even go darker than this a barbecue brush and lay it on there swipe up and I'm just going to lift it. I'm going to do it real light. lot for it to come to life so that's what I'm doing so that's all I'm gonna do there go down a little bit more so fading out coming on down so I'm gonna let that dry I'm gonna let that dry and the grass dry and I will be back Let's see if you can see that part can't really tell too good. I like the purple on the brown. Looks good. So I'll be back with you when this dries. Um, maybe tonight. Maybe it won't be till tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to be putting some more wildflowers down. So um, it's sort of an orange tone. <music> Okay, what I did is this little, I guess it's for um, using on your pad, it has just a rubber tip on it, it's soft. So that's what I'm going to use, it's a stylus with a rubber tip. If you don't want to use your fingers, you use one of these, it has a black tip on it. So I have some paints, some pinks here sort of mixed them up right here and I'm going to be dipping in there and then making making blossoms I hope <laughs> so let's see how this goes Okay, for this I'm going to be using a stick, a barbecue skewer, and I'm going to be using my air compressor. So let's get started. <clears throat> so these are going to be California poppies, and I hope they turn out because I'd hate to mess this whole thing up. So I'm going to make them pretty good size. I'm going to just put them like a V, fill it in like that. Then I want to put a tiny, just a speck of brown right down here.
Julie's doing and how hers is going to turn out. Ours is completely probably going to be different, which shows, you know, how artists think. Everybody's different. Your painting is not going to turn out like mine. It's one thing about paint pouring. It's an original, and there'll be nothing else like it. So let me get set up with my green. I'm going to have lighter stems, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to be doing the stems with just a stick. I've got my green and a little on a tile. So I'm going to just come down. That's one thing about the sticks, they don't hold a lot of paint. maybe done the stems with this instead of a stick. The stems are quite fat for the size of the flower, but I'm going to let it go. So these poppies are in the closest to me. This is back and then the flowers are in the distance. So I'll be right back. I think this is dry enough. I'll put another color over and I'll put another color over this dark green. Don't know when I lost you. Sorry. So I'm putting the blue down. Don't want a whole lot. Then that should dry pretty quick and then I'll go with some yellow. Right now I want to work on this grass down here. This is too dark, but I don't want to mess up the stem, so I'm going to see. I might have to wait for that to dry. Go ahead and try it on the sides first. Okay, I like that better. All right, it's, I think it's dry enough to get the yellow. So I'll let this dry, see what it looks like. Okay, I think I'm gonna just use Q-tips up here too. I've got some great darker gray. Go ahead and Q-tip that over that light color. Make it look more stormy. It's just too light. So it still shows through. don't like the yellow on here so I'm gonna put some purple on top of that just to calm that down a little bit and I'm also gonna run it along the edge and um, the edge is too straight for me don't want it cut don't know when it cut off again I think I'm done. I put the poppies in. Um, I think it looks good. I'm happy with the project. It's a little more like I said than I wanted to get. Julie is an amazing artist, so she's used to doing detailed stuff. I'm not. So hopefully I'll have her her same collaboration landscape next to mine at the end. Also, down below in the comments, I mean in the description, I'll have Julie's website and her YouTube channel. So, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe and push that notification bell. I also have an Etsy shop. Okay, I wanted to show you, well the glare is pretty bad. I will have 
finished photos at the end. Um, completely dried. It's, it's almost dried now. Pretty happy with it. Glad I put the orange in here. Made it pop a little bit. So I'll get some close-ups for you and I'll put them at the end of the video. Have a great night. Take care. Bye.